Oh, Dad! You're back! Yeah. Oh. Um, you guys are still awake? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just couldn't help you. My friend you just kept me on for so long. Sorry about that. Where is your mom? She doesn't want to Okay, fine. Mom, I'm dead. Oh, Mom, that's waiting downstairs. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. How come you stayed out that long? The kids are really worried about you. I'm truly sorry. Uh, my friend, he just kept me on forever. I'm so sorry about that. Sorry. It's all right. Let's go in. Okay. Dad, are you not eating with us? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm fine. I already ate at my friend's place. So I'm okay. <sighs> just this one. Dad, I'm begging. Jackie, no but. Dad just told you he ate at his friend's place. I'm sure she must have given him, or he must have given him something very nice to eat. So let's go. Mm. Dad, if the friends could force you to eat, there's nothing to stop you from eating with your beloved family. Dad, I will not eat it unless you join us. Yeah, Dad. Don't say yes. Dad, if you don't join us, we go on a hunger strike. Lizzie, oh. Jackie, enough of this, okay? You can't put your father in this tight condition. I mean, obviously, he looks fed. All right. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Father Lord, we thank you for this wonderful food. We thank you that even as we eat, it goes on to nourish our body. It gives us strength. It gives us love. Amen. Amen. Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? Come on, Dad, just pretend. You feed us first. I do? Yes. Even before I take my own spoon? Okay. This one goes out to my princess. Oh, thank you. There you go. This one goes out to my prince. Satisfied now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dad? Yes? You forgot mom. Sure. This one goes out to my angel. Dad now have his own. Just a simple mistake, 
that requires immediate forgiveness. But because of lack of trust, pride and ego, it can become something of sorrow that can trigger an action that can destroy a beautiful relationship. Oh, oh, oh. Why do we fight like cats and dogs? Where is the love? We used to know. Where did it go? Oh, when once there was peace, it's falling to pieces. How can this be? This cannot be. Oh, how can something so so beautiful suddenly become so pitiful? How can a place, a place of so much peace, become a place where there is no peace because of pride and ego? Oh, there is no trust, it could self-destruct. Something must be done before it all goes wrong. Oh, why do we fight like that? Why? Where is the love? Where is the love? We wish to we wish to go. Oh, once there was How can this be? Yes, I promised. And your dad never goes back on his promise, right?
Hello. Hi. Yes. Um, how are you? Fine. Bye. Bye. So, these kids are going to drive me nuts. They practically hand twisted me into talking with their mother. And uh, what did you two talk about? What, what have we got to talk about? Nothing. But on the other hand, though, the kids, the kids, they want to come know the house in Ibadan. That isn't much of a tall order. Let's just make sure they have a nice time. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Uh, I wish uh, Elizabeth could spend our birthday here. Please. Yes, yes, I would love to celebrate my birthday here. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I don't think that can happen because if you think about your friends now, for instance, they can't come all the way down here to come celebrate with you. No, it's not possible. What about you, Dad? I hope you'll be there. Elizabeth, honestly, um. I really want to be there. I want to be there for you, but I can't. I have a very important business meeting with mm. some foreign clients of mine coming all the way from Hong Kong. It's not possible. Why do you hate me, Dad? What? Hate you? I don't hate you. You hate me, Dad. No, stop. Stop. You don't have to say that. Then I love you. I love Dad. I love your mother. Okay? Then prove it to her on her birthday. Very well, then. If you want me to cancel whatever appointments that I have on that day, just to prove to you that I love you, then I will cancel it and be there for you. Okay? Okay, Dad. Is that settled now? Yeah, Dad. Are you happy? Yeah, Dad. Good, good. So no more hate words. Yeah, Dad. Yeah, Dad. Uh... Fine. You know what? Let me show you guys around the house, huh? Uh... Yeah. All right, we right here. Let me get it. All right. <laughs> Daddy has to take very good care of it. Mm. 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 What? Aren't you gonna give Dad a pig? <laughs> Sorry, darling, I forgot. I forgot. I hope you know I'm doing this for the kids. Okay. I'll just show you kids around the house. Okay. All right, then. come with me. Come here. Why should I even do this cooking? After all, I'm in his house. Yeah, that's true. This is his house. So he should do the cooking, and when he comes to my house, I will cook for him. Hmm. Wise. Well, today is the time for him to cook for I and the children, so I'm not going to cook. I'm just going to stay and watch him. Find the knife. Mm -hmm. 
about a knife, is it? Obviously it's not. That's from the story. Well, I'm all ears. I will not and cannot do the cooking for you today. Because I'm in your house. When you come to my house, Michael, I will do the cooking. But for today, I am in your house. So you do the cooking for me and me. Jenny, you know I can't cook. Well, isn't that the more reason why you should learn now? It's not for Jenny, please. Jenny, so what are you making me for? What am I doing this cooking up? Your wife or what? You know what, let's not go there. Why don't we do it for the kids? I mean, there are kids now. Do it for them, please. Well, it doesn't change anything. It still doesn't change the fact that I'm in your house as a visitor. Look at me, a stranger. Jenny, I beg of you, please. Don't please me. Because it seems like you haven't really understood my question. What am I to cook for you, us? Yeah. Mm, your wife? I don't think so. Your girlfriend? Oh yeah, your sister. <coughs> Pretty much good, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Do I really have to answer this question? Apparently, you must. Fine, fine. Let's just assume that you're king as my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Yes, girlfriend. Oh God, Michael, when did I become your girlfriend? It doesn't matter. Of course she does. Well, since you've grown up enough to know the procedures of having a girlfriend, and I think you should ask me about a date. Yes, maybe once or twice. Then you ask me out formally, then I can agree or disagree. <sighs> Jennifer, why are you being so difficult? Why? Okay, if that's the way you want it, then I'll give it. <laughs> My name is Michael, but there is really nothing out of the ordinary about my life, though, okay? Maybe there was, but somewhere along the line, I lost it, and I seek that which I lost. I lost passion, I lost love, I lost affection. Look, enough of that. Stop it, okay? Just I stop it. I am not stop done it. yet. I am not done yet. I have not told you how much I love you. Well, I have had that a thousand and one times for my divorced husband. Really? And yes, fine, you've asked me out. Then you should wait for two weeks for my reply. I'll think about it. Then you come back for your answer. But well, remember, it could either be a yes or a no. Jenny, the kids are hungry. Fine, then let's cook together. Said and done. On this special day, we have been given a pretext to take a calm down to talk about the cake. So, you are a very special baby here, Elizabeth. I am happy and grateful to give you the pleasure to give the calm down to the cotton of the cake. I'm going to count to three. And at my count of three, I want this beautiful family to cut the cake. And after that, we all put our hands together for them, okay? Now every hand's on the knife. Mommy, your hand. And Dad. Good, good. All right, at the count of three, they cut the cake, and we all give them a round of applause, okay? One, two, and three! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you!
Thank you, wonderful kids, for coming here and attending my beloved daughter's birthday. Thank you very much. You kids look wonderful. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Elizabeth? You know we love you, right? I love you very much. Today's your birthday. Um, so, um, make the best of it, okay? Once again, thank you very much, everybody. I really do appreciate this visit and celebration. Thank you. Angel. My lovely angel. Happy birthday. I love you. And I wish you the best. <laughs> Day. 
Oh my god, Jenny. You mean you guys made love? I really do not know how it happened. Somehow we're just locked in each other's arms and lost. And are you positive, Jenny? I am. Uh, well, I guess it was just a mistake. What if it isn't? Well, I do not want to give myself the leverage of finding out. I've been trying to let you understand that rules meant nothing to Michael, but she wouldn't believe me. It saddens me that this whole had to lead to a divorce. I know Michael lied to you as regards his whereabouts, but it wasn't the light of being unfaithful. Rose is my fiancée and I'll be getting married to her in two weeks, Jennifer, two weeks. I am. Uh... I guess this is all my fault. You know, I acted so rash at the time. Before I knew it, things gone out of hand, and I could even control myself. Uh, it's okay, Jennifer. Michael also feels the same way. He regrets ever lying to you. So, you say um, this wedding is in two weeks? Oh, yeah. I'll be organizing a cocktail party. Hey, I expect you and Michael to be there. <laughs> I would have to take my leave out. Um, let's go inside so I could offer you something. Anything, please. Sixty, you've been a wonderful friend to us, and I know. I know. I'm on time. Okay. We're good, yeah?
you again. Hi, the brother. Is he in? My brother. Well, he's not. He's not in. Is he out of town? Let's just say he moved out. But um, you still live here. You were saying? I, I really don't understand. What is there for you not to understand, young lady? Okay, I'm sorry. You mean this is your husband's house and he was only squatting with you? Point of correction, he wasn't squatting with me. He was leaving with me. <laughs> I'm sorry for using the term squatting. I know Michael is your brother and he told me that this house belongs to him. So <laughs> you shouldn't blame me if I'm surprised he moved out. Well... The house used to belong to him, but it belongs to me now because we got divorced. Divorced? Yeah, divorced. You mean Michael is your husband? Didn't you get it? I said we just got divorced. This is so unbelievable. But. Michael told me where he put the wife in your very presence. And you didn't say anything. Well, how about the kids? The kids? We have two kids between us. Madam, Madam, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Oh my God, how could Michael be so heartless? I don't blame you for anything. Not at all. I don't know. I don't want anything against you.
What are you doing to yourself, Michael? I mean, you have a wonderful family. How could you ever let that go? We don't need to talk about this. We do, Mike, if it could get you back to your senses. You have no understanding what is going on. Well, I've seen enough to know that your wife and your kids deserve something better. Michael, go make up with your wife and get your family back on track. You're losing it. Yes. Yeah. I'm really sorry that I didn't come to you like I promised, okay? Uh, I was just talking traffic and I couldn't make it. But I, I knew your mom was going to bring you anyway. Where is she? She's outside. Okay, really. Are you guys having fun? All right, guys. All right, go to the kids section. Make sure you don't drink too much Coke, Fanta, or any other soft drink. You've had enough sugar in your system already. I'm sorry, I um I couldn't make it to come pick the kids like I promised. I I was um stuck in traffic and was delayed. That's what happened. It's okay. Yeah. I can't help but notice. You know, I'm a psychologist, okay? And I can help you if you let me. I thought I'd ask you this question. Are you going through an emotional stress? Worse. Okay, I'm all ears. I lost the woman that I loved. Ouch. How painful. How miserable. Hmm. Did you love her? With every inch of my being. And does she love you too? Very much she did. So, what happened? Did you cheat on her? No. I lied. Mm. You lied? How could you claim that you love a woman so much and yet you lied to her? You must have hurt her very much, you know. I know. Do you think she could ever forgive me? Um, maybe, you know. 
first of all, um, you look for her, wrap your hands around her, make her feel like she's the only woman on earth existing. Promise her your undying love for her and um, promise her you'll never lie to her again. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations to you, too. Thank you. Whatever for. Well, there's an extent to which you can deny how you feel, Michael. Follow your heart. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Jay. Later. Yeah. My heart yearns for you. <laughs> well, I will. Uh, pardon me. We would like to say thank you for making our time to be here. Uh, we are so grateful and um, for inspiring us, the <laughs> latest youngest couple in town. Thank you for, for your, thank you for coming. We really appreciate your presence. If you will allow me, may I raise a toast to I and my lovely wife to be here? <laughs> this is to us. Cheers. Cheers. What am I gonna do, 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 do? Cause I still wanna be with you, with you, cause I miss you. I still miss you. Now I know. Oh. I miss you, baby. I miss you so much. I miss you too. But thank God you're back to me now. I want to hold you in my arms. Hold you so close. Hold you in my arms forever. Nothing should ever come between us. Nothing. Never again. Never again. I have no idea how happy I am to have him in my arms again. No idea. I feel so relieved. You know, I wouldn't really be wrong to say that some people were actually meant for each other. Some people like you and I. Thank you. 
No, this is right, because I'm here now, right? Uh, yeah. Great. <laughs> okay, darling. Could you please give mommy and daddy just a second? A copy is not feeling too long. No. Okay. Some privacy? Thank All you. right. Are we entitled? Yeah. All right, go on. We want you guys in a bit, okay? So now, Hudson, come here. You look beautiful. You look gorgeous. Just gorgeous. You miss me? Um, well, I'm still thinking. Still thinking. Mm-hmm. Thinking about what? If I could ever live my life without you. Ah, still thinking. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not thinking about that. Whoa! The Dixon himself, the man of the moment. How are you doing? Good to see you, my brother. I'm good. I can see you looking much better. Of course, I'm a happy man now. I'm back with my family, back with my wife and kids. Oh, that's good. I'm happy for you, Michael. Yeah, though we have you to thank for that, though. Uh, well, on that note, all thanks should go to your kids. How do you mean? Well, those kids did a lot to you not know about. I'm lost here, Dixon. Well, now that everything is over, I think you should hear this. Okay, I'm all ears. Sit down. Look, I don't want them dragged into this. No. You have to trust me on this one, Barista. You do not understand what this can do to these children, do you? But those children are the key to this, Barista. Look, my dear, can I tell you something? I am a product of a broken arm, and I fought my way to success. I tell you what, whether you believe it or not, it wasn't an easy journey at all. No, not at all. It wasn't. Uh, well, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But um, watching them drifting further apart won't do them good either. You know what? Let me think over this and I'll get back to you. I hope to hear from you for good. We hope for the best. I need you guys to listen to me very carefully. Is there anything the matter, Uncle Dixon? Uh, no, not really. But I will still need you guys to listen to me very carefully. Have you noticed anything strange between your dad and mom lately? Well, your dad isn't going to invite on because of the company. Your dad and your mom are having a fight. A fight? That more like a quarrel? Oh, yes. But I have a plan to get them back together again. 
And that's where you guys come in. And are you sure you can handle this? It depends, Uncle. Mm, depends. Well, first things first. We have to identify the problem. And in this case, the problem is distant separation. Your dad is staying away from the house and... And we need to bring them back together. Good one, Jack. That's very smart. And how? Well, that's another intelligent question, my dear. But um, I'm counting on Jack for the first move. What? Yes, you, my dear. I need you to do something to pull your dad closer to the house. Something like... I do not exactly know how, but... But I hope you guys could help me out here. Mm -hmm. I got something on my mind, but I don't really think it will work. Oh, come on, Jack. We're listening. Okay. Uh, I will uh, pretend real. So that way, Mom will call Dad, and he'll be here in two weeks' time. Beautiful. And uh, and then what? We could make that promise to take us to his house. And that's where mom will be forced to come along. And they will work against each other. Excellent, my dear. That, that's bright. And any other bright ideas? How about forcing that to get into conversation with mommy? Good, Lizzie. Uh, every time we talk to dad, we could always make him, we could always put our on mom on the phone. And that way, you know I know that he could never say no. Oh, uh, yeah, boy. Your birthday. That reminds me. Now, what are we gonna do? Huh. Oh. And, um, when is this birthday of yours, my dear? About two weeks. Mm -hmm. Two weeks. Yeah, we could work something around that time. <laughs> You have got to be kidding me, Dixon. You have got to be kidding me. Tell me your lies. Oh, you got me into my dog. Where is this? You're kidding. You mean they knew about this all this while and never mentioned it? Well, they knew what they wanted and they went for it. Well, you know something, um, Dixon? I'll be taking three days off work. Hmm? I want you to cover all procedures. Hello, my angel. Hello. Me? I couldn't give it to no one else but you, baby. Oh, uh, thank you so much. I still have questions on my mind, though. Don't they all do? Yeah, but this one is different. Give me that, honey. Did you, did you sleep with him? <laughs> you are so crazy. Come on, babe. I didn't do that. I couldn't have done it. I swear by anything. You know, I, you know, of course there are instances, but... I kept refusing it. 
send him the plans for the white horse. We just talked like that. Until he came to the house and he found out married. Did you travel up? That's not a problem. thing that, you know, all the hurt we suffered was just born out of our own pride and ego. At least we know better now. Yes, we do. Hey, you know what? I just want to put a little get together just to celebrate this reunion. It's the only way that I think I can just make it up to you and the kids. Okay? Thanks. Because you know what? The kids can have the party. All I just want to do is hold you and After all that has been said and done. Thank you so very much for coming and being here with us. But I want to crave your indulgence for a couple of minutes, if you do not mind, that is. Well, the mood actually calls for it, if you ask me. You see, this family has been through a whole lot in the past three months. It's had its own fair share of um, trials and pain. Could you please step up here for a second? But then, through it all, <laughs> I can't help but to say that it's, it has actually strengthened the love we all share as a family. <laughs> and looking back at all those times now, I can't help but think and say in earnest that, you know, it's a worthwhile experience. Yes. So I would like you all to raise your glasses and have a toast with me to my wonderful kids, Elizabeth and Jack, for being God's gracious gift to this union. Cheers. Who inspired me to finally settle down? <laughs> that took a while, though. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Better late than never. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers, baby. So please make yourself comfortable. Um, Maggie, I know you're going through a whole lot. I want you to see what you're doing. When I'm hot, most of the night. 
where love would find the place in us. We are one family, bonded with love and peace. But the sun came raining on us. Oh, we are the one. We are the ones. It's our family. It's our family. We are the ones to make it what we want. So stop the fight. So stop the fighting. Don't to make it. And love and love can reign in our hearts. We'll find peace again. We are the ones. We are the ones. I never thought my 